Now there's a face for you. Sweet and innocent for sure. But the dog was an accessory to many a misdemeanor. In the past, the Brittany was a poacher's small, quick partner in crime. Come on, let's go. Perfect for grabbing some fast food off someone else's land. Legend has it that in the mid-1800s, the tailless Brittany was born after English setters when hunting in France and found the French spaniel damsels irresistible. The upshot of this offspring was a spaniel who hunted like a setter. Reason enough to drop the spaniel surname in 1982. Get the point? Whoa, whoa. These boys are bird dogs. On David Jones' 60-acre Texas spread is a Brittany school for bird dogging. Pointing comes pretty naturally, but learning not to rush and flush the bird takes a little learning. Mm, that's a good girl. Here's a little treat. With Britneys in particular, they're a very soft dog. They have a real sweet personality. And if you yell at a Britney, they'll cower. They have a real sweet personality. So when we go outdoors, we just, we, we have snack, and we have fun, and we get drinks, and all we do is play. When it comes to hygiene, a Britney isn't a high maintenance dog. A brushing once or twice a week should suffice. But the highlight of their doggy do is the pretty coat combos, coming in orange and white and liver and white. Tri colors are allowed as well. That's a beautiful French Brittany. Now, no dog is perfect. Here's some bullet points to browse before buying a Brittany. Four treats out of four for stamina. You'll poop out long before your Brittany does. He's a hardy dog, despite the occasional occurrence of hip dysplasia, glaucoma, and epilepsy. Three treats for health. Three treats as well for sensitivity. The Brittany wants to please and be pleased in return. And four treats out of four for sheer smarts. His alertness and instinct shine in all situations. Okay, here we go, Snippers. But brightest in the field. It's that loving heart and agile mind that makes the Brittany a breed apart from all others.